With this workflow, you can automatically scrape whatever data you want from any website for free, allowing you to scrape emails, social media links, or competitor data so that you can reach out to more leads or keep an eye on what others are doing in your industry. All of it takes is a click, and you can sit back and watch as the scraper pulls this information from each website and stores it neatly in a Google Sheet for later processing. Now we're gonna go ahead and let this process another one or two options here. See if it'll go ahead and get our data. It's currently pulling from these websites. It's running through, it's getting that data, pulling it on the Google Sheet, waiting a couple seconds before it tries again so we're not hitting any rate limits. And then it goes back through and it does it over and over again for as many of these different items as you have in a Google Sheet. Let's just go ahead and let it scrape another one or two while we wait, and then I will be back to see our results. And as always, you can download this N8N workflow for free from my free school community where we give away over 25 different business-focused workflows for free with new free workflows coming out every week, along with tutorial videos, how-to setup guides, and a community of automation-focused business owners all looking to collaborate and grow their businesses with AI-powered automations. You can also join our advanced community for tech support assistance, marketing and business growth discussions, as well as getting to pick my brain on N8N, AI automation, or businesses in general. All right, we got about 10 results. It took us about a minute. Let's go ahead and check out our sheet. You see we got one. These guys didn't have any. Got another one there. Got another one there. This one didn't have one. And there's a couple more. So wonderful. It's got us emails from our websites. And obviously it doesn't get them all because they don't necessarily always have their email available, but it does pull what it's able to find. And let's go ahead and go through and see how this workflow actually operates so that you can use it and you can actually build it out further if you would like um, by adjusting this AI node, which we'll talk about in a second. So I have this set to just a, a click trigger. So as soon as I click this test workflow button, the, the bot's gonna run and it's gonna run off of our spreadsheet. And um, I have a, the sheet available in the school community. It's called the Google Maps Scraper setup file. You'll find that along with the JSON for the, the bot itself. All you gotta do is download it and then import file and it'll upload it just like this into your N8N account. All right, so what we do is when we click test workflow, it'll go ahead to our go and go to our, uh, our spreadsheet here called the Google Maps Scraper set setup sheet. You should already have data in here. If not, I recommend you check out our Google Maps Scraper workflow video, which is linked in the description below. That workflow will allow you to be able to get all of this data just like this, uh, based on whatever zip code you're looking at, based on whatever business categories you're looking at, it'll fill up your sheet for you. So this Google Sheet will pull that information. So we'll see that I'm just pulling from this document. You'll wanna set it to the, the Google Maps Scraper setup file or whatever you decide to call it in your Google Drive account. We're looking at the sheet called results. Over here, we're looking at results, good. All right, we pull that information, it found 50 rows, it then edits the file, or edit the fields. It's gonna create a title, an address, a website, a phone, a domain, places ID, and email. That's the information we're pulling for each of these guys. And then what it does is it's gonna do an if. We're gonna sort through and, and filter out some extra information. If they don't have a website, it filters them out. It's just gonna, it's not even gonna look at them because there's no point in scraping a website if you don't have a website. We then run another if, and here we're looking for if they already have an email. So maybe you've run the scraper before and it pulled the, the, the row once again on accident. You didn't wanna actually process it because you've already got the email. Um, in which case it's gonna sort out any of those emails. So if the email is empty, then it moves on. If there's something in the email, then it's going to do nothing with it. Now, if for some reason you've pulled the email and now you're using this in order to pull social media accounts by changing something in here, obviously I would update this if node or maybe even remove it. But for now, the scraper is focused on pulling emails and that's why I have it set up to sort out anything that already has an email. We then loop through each of our items. So we're gonna be looping through each of our uh, rows here, each of these businesses. And then what we do is we take the website and we're gonna scrape it using a service called Gina, J-I-N-A dot A-I. So what we have here is this, um, this URL that's gonna call the Gina service and it's free, it's completely free. They offer this completely free. And then we attach the website to the back of it. All right, and what this service does 
is it actually, it processes all of the information from the website through an AI reader that then formats the website content in a method that another AI would be able to read fairly easily. So instead of the giant JavaScript or HTML code that would otherwise come through when you're pulling website data through uh, an HTTP node like this, it's actually pre-processing it with an AI in a form that'll make it readable for an AI to then process the information. So here's all the information from this one website. We got what, Paramount ta Paramount ta uh, tax, uh, their Las Vegas location as an example. So it gives us all the content on their page. All right, it then sends it to this the AI node here. And we'll see that we're using a tools agent. Not that you need a tools agent, you probably get away with a, um, a conversation agent if you want, but I'm using a tool agent using a define below prompt. And so the prompt is the website content. So that's the json.data. You don't need to change that. Just gonna leave that exactly how it is. We do require a specific out output format, which is why we have an output parser. I'll go over in a second. And then we have a system message. So let's go ahead and take a look at our system message. And it's fairly simple. It's just a highly accurate email extractor. Its job is to find the email for and it's not just any email, it's actually looking for the most relevant business contact email that is provided on the website. And so sometimes you'll have multiple emails on a website, you might have an info at, but you also might have Steve at or something like that. Um, and so what it's doing is it's looking for those multiple emails and if it finds one, it's gonna look for and prioritize the one that appears to be the business owner or the highest authority contact that it can find. So it's gonna try to filter out the simple ones like the info at, unless it's the only one it can find. It's then gonna output a single email address and it's that's all it does, all right? And so we come over here and we'll see in our structured output node our, that here we are, it's just a simple JSON, it's looking for email, it's outputting an email, that's it. All right, and what we're doing is we're using a 4.0 mini model. Um, you might wanna update that to maybe a 4.1 mini um, or even a 4.0 one uh, nano because this is a fairly simple task. There's no real thinking that's involved here. It's basically just scraping and pulling information. So whatever you can use for the lowest cost be uh, the best bet I would give you. And then what it does is it outputs all those emails that it gets and it's gonna send it to a Google Sheet. Again, it's putting it back into our Google Sheet into the same sheet, our results sheet. We're matching based on the places ID, which is our first column. So it's matching up with what we input in the first place. It's gonna then input the email that it's grabbed. And for, if for some reason it's not able to find an email, if the AI agent just cannot find an email at all, it is gonna output a null value, all right? Um, so it's gonna be a null value, N-U-L-L, -L, all right? And so that's why sometimes in here you see null, null, null. That's because these services do not list their email on their website. That's unfortunate for them because they could probably be getting business if they did. Um, and then it just processes each of the items in the Google Sheet. It runs through each of them. And then when it's done, it's done. And you should have a nice little list of all the emails that are available on their website. Now, with that said, this bot does not pull the whole sitemap. It does not go to every single page on their website. Um, if you did that, you are very likely to run into rate limit issues. You're gonna be calling this Gina service a whole lot. Um, if, you're, if you're using it, you know, fairly conservatively, if you're only pulling 100, 200 pieces of data at a time, I doubt you're gonna have any issues. If you start pulling a few thousand in a run, uh, my bet is they're gonna notice that and they're gonna probably shut you down. So just try to keep it a little more conservative in your usage of the service um, at a time, all right? You know, spread it out day after day. Don't necessarily just bum rush it and try to get as much as you possibly can. So as you can see, this website email scraper allows you to quickly and effortlessly pull emails. You can set it up to pull social media links or pretty much any other information you want uh, when we're talking about your targeted businesses or websites so that you can then process that information. Maybe put it into your marketing funnels to be able to do an email campaign or whether it's a competitor analysis for future processing and some sort of uh, business plan or marketing report that you're putting together. Uh, great information that you're able to get here, just small tweaks required to get basically anything. And when paired with our Google Maps scraper that we have in another video that's linked in the description below, you will be able to fill up your marketing list to reach out with your products and offers faster than ever before. And if you found this video helpful, 
Please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like and share this video because it really does help us out and be able to get that content out there to people who could use these tools. Also, make sure to click the link in the description below to download today's workflow for free from my free school community. And as always, I'm Bradford Carlton. Let's automate your success together and I'll see you inside.